I remember the first time I wrote to and read from a file. To be honest with you, I was pretty excited and I want you to feel the same at the end of this video. If this is your first time on this channel, I'm Fabio and here I talk about web development and programming. If that is something you are passionate about, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon down below so you get notified every time I post new videos. Let's jump right in. So let's start by creating a new file and I'm gonna call it write read.py, okay? And now I'm gonna declare a path variable with a path, okay? So I'm gonna copy the path. One important thing when it comes to strings like that is that you've got these backslashes. These could be treated as escape characters and you don't want that, so you want them to be treated as literal characters. So you're gonna add the R at the beginning to make it a row string, okay? Then I'm gonna have the user enter something to write to the file. I'm gonna use input, which is a built-in function. Enter some text. Now, to open a file, you need to use the open built-in function, and you can store the file in a variable, okay? So, This is my variable, then I'm gonna open my file and then I'm gonna use the path and the mode is gonna be W, which is writing mode. One thing that I need to mention is that writing W is like writing WT, which means text mode, okay? Writing in text mode. That could be also B, which is binary mode, but we're not going to have a look at that in this video. So we're gonna stick to the text mode. So I'm gonna delete this. Of course, I'm assuming that you're actually using a write path, okay? And don't worry if my file doesn't exist because Python will create the file for you if it doesn't exist. Okay, so now I'm gonna write the things to the file using the write method. I'm gonna use text to write, okay. Then, really important, I'm gonna close the file. Okay, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna read this time. So path, and then I'm gonna use R, which is the same as RT, okay? I'm gonna stick to R. And then I'm going to save the content in a variable, open file dot read. Read actually reads the whole content of the file. And then I'm gonna close the file again. So you really need to always close the file every time you open it, because if you don't close it, the file can actually get corrupted in the process. So you don't want that. And then I'm gonna print the actual content, okay? So there's actually one thing that we can do now we can add a line feed at the end of every single sentence we write. So actually we write something and then we save it to the file and then we write something else and then we save it to the file and we'll have each sentence in its own line. Without the line feed, we would end up with a long single line and we don't actually want that. You'll actually understand what I mean later in the video because I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you can do that by actually adding that at the end of the string, so text to write plus equal. I'm gonna add the N. It's like hitting enter. Now we can actually save the file and we can run it, okay? So let's open the terminal. There you go. And then I'm gonna run Python. Enter some text. This is my text. And then as you can see, this is my text is actually the content of the file and a new file has been created right here. So this is my text with the new line in place. Okay, so everything is working just fine. 
so this code is actually okay but you're not handling all the exceptions and if there's a problem here the file maybe the file is not closed properly and that could lead to a corrupted file you want to use the try accept and finally block okay so you try and then if there's an exception you print code and then finally you close the file so basically here anything could happen but the file is always closed properly okay so you can do exactly the same down here this bit like that close the file okay so this actually works exactly the same as before but you are sure that the file is closed properly okay there's another way to open and close the file sort of automatically so we are gonna have a look at that right now so I'm gonna comment this out okay so basically you have to use the with statement okay so with open path writing mode as opened file okay so basically this uses the context manager and it actually handles the opening and the closing of the file automatically and also if anything happens actually the file is always closed properly so you should always use this syntax so I'm gonna do exactly the same text to right so you don't need to close it path open file then I'm gonna content equal open file read print the content and that's it actually so this code is exactly the same as this code and this code is actually better so I would use this one okay so we can try to run that I'm gonna save the file first and then I'm gonna run it. Read some text, the new text, and that's it, the new text. Okay, so one thing that sometimes you don't want is that by using the W, all the content of the file is deleted and then Python is actually going to replace the old content with a new one. So this is my text doesn't exist anymore but now is being replaced by the new text if you have a look at the file you can see just the last one so if you want to append something at the end of the file instead of deleting the old data and replacing it with the new data you need to use a okay so if i save the file and rerun it this is my new line of code as you can see you've got the old line of code and then the other line of code which is not actually a line of code but whatever so if you go here you can see the new thing then I can rerun it okay we got this as you can see you've got three lines there are actually other ways to read the content of the file okay one is read which reads the whole content okay so everything inside the file is read another way is by using read line which reads only one line so if you call read line now you get the first line and then read line again and another line etc etc but you would have to actually loop through the whole file line by line there's also read lines which returns a list of lines so you've got 
let's say you've got 10 lines, you've got a list of 10 elements. One element is one line, the second element is another line, etc., etc. And then you've got the for loop. Okay, so you can actually do this. I'm just gonna leave this there. Copy that, paste it. I'm gonna comment this out. Okay, so you could actually do this. You could do for line in open file print line. The only problem with this is that print adds a line feed at the end of every string that is printed to the terminal. So you would have another space here. So there would be the new text, one line, then this, this is my new line of code, new line, etc., etc. So to delete that space at the end, just need to add this and do that. So basically end tells the print function that you don't want anything at the end of each line that you print, okay? So basically the default one is this one, okay? So every time you print something, you've got the string and then at the end Python actually adds a line feed. In this case, we don't want anything. So it's like just an empty string. This does exactly the same thing as the, the one above, okay? So it's just a matter of preference. I'll save the file, run the code, again and again. As you can see, exactly the same, okay? So you can do whatever you want. You can use read, you can use this. This is also set to be memory efficient, fast and you know simple code, at least in the documentation. I guess because here you've got to actually read the whole content. So let's say that you've got a super big file, okay? And then you have to actually read the whole thing. That means that in memory, you have the whole thing, okay? So a lot of memory used. In this case, if you don't need to actually save line by line, but you need to just print it, you just have to have one line in memory, okay? So you've got one line in memory, you print it, and then you empty the memory, and then you you've got another line and then you print it, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't have to have the whole file in memory, okay? So I guess this is why they say that this method, this way is actually memory efficient, okay? So if the file is really big, okay, I would stick to this, but if the file is pretty small, I would use this as well. So it doesn't matter actually. These are the ways you can use to write to a file and then read the content back. So let's say that you've got a program and then you need to save something. Okay, like for example, I don't know, the result of a calculation, or maybe data and stuff like that. You want to save them in, in a file. So you can use this method. So you can open a file, you can save the data and then close the file. And then you can read that data if you want, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to close the file and that's it. That's all for today, guys. If you want to watch more videos about Python, I've got a playlist on my channel, so go and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description box down below as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.